So today we're gonna test uh, how well I managed to motorize this model. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you wanna see more models like that from us. Okay, so it does drive, but it's uh, not very uh, controllable. Now that we tested the back outside and we saw that it's leaning uh, left, I decided to put a boat weight on the right side so hopefully this will compensate for the leaning now let's test the motorbike with the added counterweight on the left side seems to work great this is our first motorcycle so it came with a few challenges uh, one of the biggest was actually fitting the buoys motor the buoys motor is placed inside here uh, under where the original gearbox used to be and it drives the chain which drives the rear wheel. And the motor also drives the fake engine. I wanted to preserve that functionality. Uh, we are also using uh, one uh, additional uh, power top uh, L motor, which is supposed to move the center of gravity left and right, but we will see if that is good enough for some slight control of the motor. Uh, another thing I had to modify in order to give this uh, model the directional stability is that I changed the pivot point of the steering mechanism. Originally it was placed directly in the center, but now I moved it two studs further. So now it's attached all the way here, which gives it uh, self-centering uh, billets. It acts like uh, wheels on the trolley, so basically they, the front wheel is following the direction and if the model uh, tilts, let's say the model tilts one way, the steering goes another way, so it auto-corrects. This is the way the model should be stable when driving forward. Yes, so we tried the model and it drives quite okay, but I think we can still uh, try uh, next run without the handlebar. So we will push it up to speed and then we'll see if it's stable enough to go on its own. So I'm gonna remove the handlebars and we'll see how it goes. Damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we hit this thing here, but that's okay. gave it a few tries without the handlebar unfortunately the model is not yet stable enough for that uh, to be honest uh, I think it's better just to make a whole new model maybe in a partnership with someone we'll see because we need to improve a lot of things first the steering uh, column is way too wobbly uh, the chain is also weak drive and we need more speed and more power so we need more boobies motors to get it uh, up to speed uh, so it's gonna be more stable so it was a good uh, test run but we still have a lot of work ahead and if you're interested in seeing uh, the upcoming uh, bike uh, in the near future please uh, remember to subscribe and click the notification icon